Amit, quickly coming to you for a you know word in on this because you've been tracking from the Ahmadmi Party, uh, you know, headquarters, the CBI headquarters, the ebb and flow of this big case. As a reporter who has tracked all aspects of this case from the very beginning, how big is this? A sitting chief minister like Arvind Kejriwal being summoned by the CBI. What kind of impact will this have within the Ahmadmi Party, Amit? Oh, well, Shiv, you know, uh, this is a very important juncture for Aam Aadmi Party. It has uh, just been announced a national party and it has national ambitions for sure. It is uh, trying to uh, play an important part in the alliance for 2024 battle. And at this point in time, the governance phase in Delhi, Manish Sisodia is already behind bars. Uh, CBI and the enforcement director is, is already, you know, uh, uh, questioning him, investigating him in connection to the excise policy. And now you have the party chief as well as uh, the Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal being summoned by the Central Bureau of Investigation. What Aam Aadmi Party is going to say is very clear, very evident is that uh, this is all vendetta politics. You know, in fact, Sanjay Singh has already indicated a clear line of defense that Aam Aadmi Party is going to take is mm -hmm. that uh, 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 the injustice uh, uh, an end will come to this injustice which is being handed out to Aam Aadmi Party. And the Aam Aadmi Party is most likely to hold a press conference, a detailed uh, 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 press uh, briefing on this particular issue around 6 p.m. in the evening. But before that, you know, there are several issues that AAP has been uh, 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 pointing at. Mm. You know, it's been a year, nearly an year of investigation into the excise policy of the national capital. Yeah. Uh, they have been asking that, where is the money that you have been talking about? Uh, constantly, they have said, uh, initially, you were talking about 10,000 crore rupees of scam. That uh, came down to rupees 2,000 crore uh, scam. And now, eventually, when the papers have been filed by the investigative agencies, uh, the only reference to the money so far is of rupees 100, which was possibly sent for the Goa Assembly elections. These are allegations being put by the central agencies. But Aam Aadmi Party is saying, where is the money trail? You know, they in fact went on to say in defense of Mani Sisodia, that when Mani Sisodia was about to get bail from the Central Bureau of Investigation, the enforcement... Amit, just was, hold on for a uh, second. Uh, we've, got, uh, we've got an update coming in from the Aam Aadmi Party saying Arvind Kejriwal will appear before the CBI at 11 a.m. on April the 16th. So we've got a confirmation on that. Uh, we we're, were ho hoping to hear from the CBI as well. But the CBI summons comes, you know, just a short while after that national party tag. April 16th, 11 a.m. is when is when Kejriwal will be showing up at the CBI headquarters. I want to get a word in from India today's Munish Pandey as well. Munish, what more can you tell us about this? 11 a.m. April 16th. This Sunday, Arvind Kejriwal has been asked by the Central Bureau of Investigation to appear before them and join the investigation. Now, so why Arvind Kejriwal's questioning is important because remember, last time when the enforcement director filed a charge sheet in connection with this case, they mentioned two parts regarding Arvind Kejriwal. The first was that Arvind Kejriwal had a FaceTime conversation with one of the accused, Samir Mahindu, prime accused. He was arrested by CBI and later by the enforcement director. He had this telephonic conversation and later, Arvind Kejriwal, according to the ED charge sheet, told uh, Samir Mandu that Vijay Nair is my boy, you can completely trust him. And Vijay Nair was the communication in charge of Ahmadi party. Allegedly, he received 100 crore rupees of bribe from the uh, uh, liquor mafia, from the liquor businessman, so that they can do business under the new excise policy. This is the first allegation against Arvind Kejriwal. The second allegation is that he met a uh, a member of parliament from Andhra Pradesh and welcomed him to hmm. do business under the new excise policy. So these are certain allegations against Arvind Kejriwal regarding which the CBI wants to question. Apart from these allegations, Shiv, this also becomes very important that two of the key witnesses in the case who have turned approver in the case, Dinesh Arora and an excise department's officer, both in their statement have told uh, the Central Bureau of Investigation that the meetings regarding the final draft policy was taken at the residence of Arvind Kejriwal. The excise department officer has even gone on to an extent of saying this, that Arvind Kejriwal was the person who called him at his residence and there he was given the first draft copy of uh, uh, excise uh, uh, first draft copy of excise policy and he was specifically told in presence of Manish Sisodia that this is a policy which you have to enforce in the national capital and the recommendation 
given by the excise department officials those were scrapped by arvind kejriwal and uh, manish sodia so these are some serious allegations based on which the central bureau of investigation claims that they have certain statements against arvind kejriwal they have certain uh, evidence against arvind kejriwal based on which they want to question him the questioning is going to be on sunday this is very surprising but in case of manish sodia we saw that he was initially called on saturday later he was uh, summoned on sunday and later he was arrested but in case of arvind kejriwal first he will be questioned and later cbi will decide what action has to be taken against the chief minister of delhi